Hello everyone, Taxi Turbo here. Welcome back to 2013. The new year, the new resolutions, and uh, everything is new. <laughs> no, only messing. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's a sniping uh, gameplay from me, guys, and I think it's the first one ever uh, that I posted. And the simple reason for it is I suck with the sniper rifles. So, but I actually end up uh, getting this. Uh, this gameplay and I thought it's really nice the final score was like 52 and 5 I think but sadly as I explained to you guys before there's something wrong with the theater mode and whenever the house migrates uh, it, it re either records the, the gameplay before the host migration or afterwards so this time I was, I was lucky because it actually recorded the whole gameplay before the host migration so basically what it means is I think it was like only 50 seconds left into the game uh, that you won't be able to see because holes migrated. Uh, but anyway, it's a good gameplay, so enjoy watching it. And okay, there's loads of stuff that I want to talk with you guys about. And but first thing first, uh, let's go uh, with, the, with my setup. That I'm using here. I'm using the Ballista Sniper Rifle with the Ballistic CPU, I think that's what it's called. And basically it's re reduce, uh, it reduces the sway uh, when you scope in. So yeah, that's the only attachment that I'm rocking on this beast. And I have the, the nice sexy Chinese camo, whatever it's called, I don't remember what it's called, but it looks nice. And this gameplay, it's actually recorded when I was going for the golden camo uh, with all the sniper rifles and I think at this stage I was only missing those uh, uh, I think you have to get 10 of them uh, 10 bloodthirsty medals which is basically get the five kill streak with this gun only so yeah that was the only uh, the only thing uh, that I was missing at, 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 at this stage in the game and uh, right now I have all the primary weapons diamond, which I'm pretty proud of. Uh, it wasn't easy, as you can imagine. There, there are some good weapons out there, but there are some really, really bad weapons. And uh, and I just didn't enjoy using them at all. But uh, that brings me to my next point, which is I want to do the serious where I'm gonna post a video with uh, me using every single uh, primary weapon in the game, uh, rocking the diamond camo on it, and just basically go uh, go through the, the whole setup, like what perks I was using, what, uh, what attachments, what do I think about this gun, whether it's good, and what in what situations, what map is, is, uh, are the best for using this weapon, because obviously every weapon is different, like you're gonna play different style with the sniper rifle, different with the submachine gun, and so on and so on. And so yeah, that, that, that's my idea, that's what I wanna do, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring you all of the primary weapons, uh, well that's my plan, but uh, I got really really frustrated with some of the weapons, especially the last sniper rifle. I don't know what's wrong with it or what's wrong with me, but I just can't use it. The, I'm talking about the, I think it's called XBR-50, glass sniper rifle anyway. And to give you an idea how bad it was for me, it was like that. So you, to get the golden camo on the sniper rifle, you need 250 one-shot kills, and then you need like 50... I think it's 50 kills uh, without using any attachments and any any perks, which most people do it at, in, in one go. And me too, I did it as well. So anyway, um, so that's 300 kills altogether, right? If you uh, consider the fact if you get every single uh, every single kill as one shot kill, that's 300 kills. So uh, and pretty much after that, there's only one thing left. Unless uh, you're good and you did it on the way, which I didn't. Um, so the one thing left that I had was to get the 10 Vlad Thirsty medals. 
so those 10, 5 kills. And so to give you an idea how bad it was, I had all all the camos unlocked, Domination. apart from this one, that the, the, the last one with the 10, ten Black Thirsty medals. Captain that took me 340 kills. So that, that was good, right? right? Like it wasn't too bad. It theoretically it's like 300, so I did it in 340. But I was uh, I was playing in. By the way, uh, yeah, I was playing in the in the car, uh, in car game mode. Oh, look at this guy here. I, I think it was funny. Uh, he was trying to snipe me with the shotgun. Not enough range, buddy. <laughs> uh, it would be that if he had like KSG, but luckily he didn't. So anyway. Uh, yeah, so 340 kills, yeah, that's not too bad, uh, especially that I was playing in the core playlist, so, you know, it's it's not every single time you're gonna get those one-shot kills. So I was pretty happy about it, I was like, yeah, yeah, it's not it's not a bad sniper. But then, from 340 kills, I had only left to do 10 Vlad Thirsty medals. Guess how many kills I got to get those freaking medals? Well... Right now, I think I have like 590 kills with the XPR. So that gives you an idea. It's 240 kills that I needed uh, to do just to get those 10 freaking medals. I absolutely hate this gun. I don't know. Maybe I'm just I. As I said, I'm not a I'm not a good sniper at all. Like you know, there is loads of people better than me. But still, I, I don't know what I did wrong. I was trying to use different attachments. I was I was messing around with the playlist as well. I was trying to do a hardcore mode as well. Nothing worked. Just nothing worked. I, I could kill people, and I always died after fourth kill. So I just I just couldn't do it. I don't know what's wrong with it. Like the ballista, for example, that took me only uh, two games to get the uh, ten bloodthirsty medals. And uh, same with the. But the other one, what was the name of it? I, I forgot what's the name of it, but it looks like a Beretta. And uh, yeah, it, 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 it took me about two games as well. So even the first one, the, you know, the SVU, uh, which is uh, the weakest sniper, in, uh, snipe, uh, sniper rifle in the game, wasn't too bad because I actually put the ACOG on it and the silencer on it and went to domination and was pretty good. Like, you know, the. The, the, the good thing about uh, the, the first sniper was they never knew where I was shooting them from. So it was pretty easy to get the, the bloodthirsty medals as well. Did you see this big ass rocket there? That's, that's pretty impressive. Like I played this game a lot. I've never seen this huge rocket. I know, that's what she said. Anyway, uh, back, back to my idea. Yeah, so I'm going to bring you all different guns with all different setups and just basically go uh, go through it with you to let you know what what suits best in what kind of map uh, and what kind of attachments and what to be aware of because you know th there are some flaws in every every gun so you don't want to do something with certain gun that you want to do with every other gun and so on and so on so I think it's it's gonna be pretty interesting because you know, you get to see all the diamond camos, how it looks on every single gun. And uh, one more thing that I want to tell you, like if you're considering doing, uh, going for a diamond camo on, on every single primary weapon, uh, you probably wonder if you get something extra. Well, you kind of do, but I was hoping that uh, there would be some kind of hidden camo. You know, if you if you get diamond on every single primary weapon, that you're gonna get some big you know nice really good looking camo on every single gun but no it doesn't happen but what you get instead you get the nice title which you're probably gonna see me using in the next video and you can check it for yourself you you have it in your titles uh, list there it it's called achieve them um, I think it's mastery level with every single primary weapon something like that anyway the gameplay is over it's 43 and 4 but as i said the final score was i think 52 and 5 so thank you guys for watching and see you next time